Hi, it's Kerry. Let's move this out the way. I've got more amazing dinosaurs and Quetzalcoatlus. Stay for the fun ending when the volcano erupts with smoke and fire. Love the new Proceratosaurus. Can you tell me how many Spinosaurus in today's video? Subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like volcanoes and dinosaurs. Tyrannosaurus is possibly the most well-known dinosaur due to its huge size, ferocious nature and regular appearances in popular media. Thanks to a number of well-preserved fossils, T-Rex has been studied in detail by paleontologists all around the world. Tyrannosaurus roamed an area of the earth that now makes up Western North America. I love the head sculpt here and all those teeth. A really nice model. Another Tyrannosaurus. Many scientists now consider it likely that T. rex had feathers on at least parts of its body due to their presence in related species. Some scientists believe that the juveniles may have been feathered and then shed the feathers as the animal became larger and no longer needed insulation to stay warm. However, I think that the extent and nature of feather covering in Tyrannosaurids may have changed over time in response to body size, possibly a warmer climate or other factors. The Swimming Spinosaurus, a very colourful model. Recent fossil evidence shows Spinosaurus was the first dinosaur that was able to swim. Spinosaurus is thought to have survived mainly on fish, including giant coelacanths, sawfish, large lungfish and also sharks, which lived in the dinosaur's river system. It would also lie submerged in the water and ambush its prey, with its long sharp crocodilian jaws dragging prey under the water to drown. Quetzalcoatlus was a flying reptile that lived during the late Cretaceous period. It was a carnivore and fed from freshwater ponds by gliding towards the water and swooping up its mill with its long pointed toothless jaws. This amazing pterosaur had a wingspan that was nearly 36 feet or 11 meters wide. Hyliosaurus lived in the early Cretaceous period. It's another example of Ankylosaurian dinosaur without a club tail. It had a toothless horny head and grew to 13 meters long. It had short legs with a narrow head and pointed snout with a long tail. It had spikes and horny covered plates on its body. The underbelly was unprotected. Flipping it over would be the only way to harm it. Bechel spinax is a genus of large predatory theropod dinosaur that lived during the early Cretaceous period in England. It was a theropod dinosaur, which means a meat-eating dinosaur that walked on two legs. This carnivore had neural spines on its back much like the Spinosaurus from Africa. These neural spines are actually elongated vertebrae. There is speculation that these neural spines actually made a hump because the neural spines were so thick, otherwise it may have been a sail. Proceratosaurus. I really like this new model. Proceratosaurus lived in what is now called England in the Middle Jurassic period. This small early tyrannosaur had unusually enlarged nostrils and a head crest, features typical of others in its family Proceratosauridae. This theropod had a large head on a short neck and a heavy body. Long legs for running. Each foot had three toes and a small claw on the back of its leg. It had short arms with clawed fingers and a long tail. 
It grew to two to three metres long. Proceratosaurus had a skull with internal air spaces as with other Tyrannosaurus such as T-Rex and also the D-shaped front teeth typical of all Tyrannosaurus. Spinosaurus walking. Spinosaurus was the biggest of all the carnivorous dinosaurs, larger than Tyrannosaurus and Giganotosaurus. It lived during part of the Cretaceous period and roamed the swamps of North Africa. It had a large head with long sharp non serrated needle like teeth and powerful crocodile like jaws. Its arms were smaller than its legs but were larger than the arms of most other theropods. It may have gone on all fours at times like this one. Gastania lived in the early Cretaceous period. It is a genus of herbivorous and chylosaurian dinosaur from what is now called North America. Notice the small horns at the rear skull corners and cheeks. The beak is toothless. Gastonia was protected by osteoderms and many spikes. The vertical spikes on the body would have given good protection and it could defend itself by swinging its flexible spiked tail. Carcharodontosaurus lived during the mid Cretaceous period. It was one of the larger theropods, as large or slightly bigger than Tyrannosaurus and possibly slightly larger than Giganotosaurus, but not quite as large as Spinosaurus. Carcharodontosaurus was a carnivore with a skull length that was just over 5 feet or 1.5 meters. It had enormous jaws with 60 long serrated teeth that were up to 8 inches or 20 centimeters long. These teeth could slice through prey and tear it apart. It may have also been a scavenger. Another Carcharodontosaurus. It's named after its long sharp teeth with their deadly serrations. It is also known as the shark toothed or jagged toothed lizard. Its teeth would have slashed through flesh with ease, making it one of the most feared and successful meat eating dinosaurs of North Africa. It is highly likely that Carcharodontosaurus would have come into conflict with the largest carnivorous dinosaur of all time. Spinosaurus. This would have been a battle of epic proportions. This is Eustreptospondylus. It lived in the Jurassic period. Eustreptospondylus fossils were found in marine sediments, so this dinosaur may have hunted prey along the shores of the small islands off the coast of southern England. It was a bipedal predator with small forearms, large powerful jaws, sharp teeth and a long stiff tail. It would grow to 30 feet or 9 meters long. Next up is a preview of one of my lion videos. I really like lions. I'll put a link at the end to it. The lioness. I love the snarly face. She's a really good hunter. They need a lot to eat so they hunt large animals like zebras and wildebeest. They are not above stealing kills from other carnivores like hyenas, wild dogs, cheetahs and leopards or even scavenging spoiled meat. Lions have a fast working digestive system which allows them to gorge themselves and then go for seconds shortly after. If available, they will drink water every day, but they can go longer without drinking by getting moisture from the stomach contents of their prey. Volcano alert! Tell me how many Spinosaurus in today's video.
thank you for watching my video please stay right on here at super fun reviews for more great videos see you again soon please subscribe and share my video on any of the social media platforms that you like to visit thanks once again